So this is a continuation of the CUDA software free worksheets, Algebra 1, Order of Operations. We left off at number 10 the last time, completing that, so we're going to pick up with number 11. Now, as you can see, number 11 has addition and it has subtraction. But remember, addition and subtraction, it doesn't matter what order you do them in first. So let me show you two different ways to do this, although there's more than two. So let's start by doing 9 plus 9. 9 plus 9 is going to give us 18. So we have 18 plus 6 minus 5. Now let's go ahead and do 18 plus 6. 18 plus 6 is going to give us 24. So we're left with 24 minus 5, and that's going to give us 19. So let's look at another way. Let's back this up a little bit to where we had 18 plus 6 minus 5. Instead of doing 18 plus 6 first, let's do 6 minus 5 first. So we have 18 plus 6 minus 5, which is 1. So 18 plus 1 is going to give us 19. So 19 is the answer to number 11. Number 12 has parentheses, so we know we're going to evaluate what's in the parentheses first. So 5 plus 16 is going to give us 21. Then we have divided by 7 minus 2. So 21 divided by 7 minus 2. This has two operations, division and subtraction. But division comes before subtraction in the order of operations. So 21 divided by 7 is going to give us 3, and that's 3 minus 2. So our answer to number 12 is 1, because 3 minus 2 equals 1. Number 13 has addition and multiplication. But multiplication needs to be evaluated before the addition. So we're going to start with 10 times 5. 10 times 5 is 50. So we have 7 plus 50 plus 10. Now we can either add 7 to 50 first, or we can add 50 to 10 first. Either way, it doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and add 50 to 10 first. 50 plus 10 will give us 60, so then we'll have 7 plus 60, which gives us 67 as our answer. So 13 is 67. 14, we're going to start with the parentheses like we do in all expressions, except this expression has both addition and subtraction. But remember, addition and subtraction, it doesn't matter which order you do either of those in first. So I'm just going to go ahead and do 6 plus 25 to start. 6 plus 25 is going to give us 31. So we're going to have 31 minus 7, and that's within parentheses divided by 6. So again, we need to evaluate what's in the parentheses first. So we're going to do 31 minus 7, which is going to give us 24. So we have 24 divided by 6. 24 divided by 6 gives us 4. So our answer for number 14 is 4. So going on to the next page, page number 2, we'll start at 15. 15 has parentheses, so we're going to evaluate that first. So that's going to be 6 minus 4 is 2. So we have 2 times 49 divided by 7. Now you see we have both multiplication and division. And the order in which you do multiplication and division doesn't matter. Remember PEMDAS, and hopefully you have that still written at the top of your paper from the last video. But if you need to refer back to it, I'll go ahead and write it again. P E M D A S. First, you evaluate the parentheses, then exponents, then multiplication and division, then addition and subtraction. 
So the order in which you do these doesn't really matter. So let's go ahead and do 49 divided by 7 first, because that's easier to do in your head. 49 divided by 7 is 7, since 7 times 7 is 49. So we're left with 2 times 7, which gives us 14. So the answer to number 15 is 14. Now 16 is pretty straightforward. We have parentheses first, so we're evaluating what's inside those parentheses. So that's going to be 7 times 5, which is 35. Then we have 35 divided by 5. So 35 divided by 5 is going to be 7. Let's go on to number 17. 17 is introducing something new. 17 is introducing this fraction bar right here. However, fraction bar just means division, but it also means that you're going to place parentheses around the numerator and parentheses around the denominator. So you're going to evaluate what's in the parentheses first. And we have two different sets of parentheses. We have 43 minus 1, so let's go ahead and do that first. 43 minus 1 gives us 42. So we're left with 42 divided by 4 plus 2 plus 10. So now we're going to evaluate what's in those other parentheses, the 4 plus 2. I'm going to go ahead and put my work up here so I stay on the same screen. That's going to be 42 divided by 4 plus 2 is 6. So we have 42 divided by 6 plus 10. 42 divided by 6 we know is 7 because 7 times 6 is 42. So now we're evaluating this division. So 42 divided by 6 is 7 plus 10. 7 plus 10 is 17. So our answer for number 17 is 17. Now number 18 also has this fraction bar, but it would be silly of us to put parentheses around just the number 35 and just the number 5, since none of those have operations within them. So we're going to evaluate the parentheses first. That's going to be this 8 plus 5. 8 plus 5 is 13. We have 13 times 35 divided by 5 plus 6. Next, we're going to evaluate this division, but if we wanted to, we could also evaluate this multiplication first. I just think it's easier because 35 divided by 5 is going to give us a whole number, whereas 13 times 35 over 5 is going to give us another fraction that we will then have to change into a whole number. So let's go ahead and just do 35 divided by 5 to start. That's going to leave us with 13 times 7 plus 6. Now we have to evaluate the multiplication. So 13 times 7. 13 times 7 is going to give us 91. So we have 91 plus 6. And 91 plus 6 is going to give us 97. So the answer to number 18 is 97, since 91 plus 6 equals 97. Now again, we don't need to put parentheses around just a number, but we will need to put parentheses around the denominator, since the denominator has many operations. So that means we're going to evaluate this denominator first. So we're going to have 27 all over 2 plus 3 plus 4. Remember, both of these are addition, and addition is so we can do 2 plus 3 first, or 3 plus 4 first. And I'm going to do this in my head so that I don't have to write out another step. So I'm going to do both these additions in one step. 2 plus 3 we know is 5, and 5 plus 4 we know is 9. So 2 plus 3 plus 4 is equal to 9. So now we have 27 over 9 plus 3. 27 divided by 9 
is going to give us 3. So we have 3 plus 3, which we know is equal to 6. Let's go ahead and do one more problem. Problem number 20. Again, since this is a fraction, we're going to have to add in those parentheses. So we're going to have to evaluate everything in the denominator before we divide that numerator by the denominator. So in the denominator, we have now two sets of parentheses, the outer and then the inner. You always start with the innermost parentheses. So we're going to do 5 minus 4 to start. So we're going to have 45 divided by 8 times 5 minus 4 is 1 minus 3. So we're going to do multiplication first, since multiplication comes before subtraction in PEMDAS. So 8 times 1 is going to be 8. So that's going to leave us with 45, which is the numerator, divided by 8 minus 3. Next step, we're going to evaluate this 8 minus 3. I'm going to go ahead and move this up here so that we can keep everything on one page. So we're going to have 45, which is the numerator, divided by 8 minus 3 is 5. So now, last but not least, we're going to do 45 divided by 5. And 45 divided by 5 is equal to 9. And this is where I'm going to stop the video. Continue on to the next video to see problems 21 through 26 worked out. And this is on the order of operations, Algebra 1, free worksheets within CUDA software, which I'll leave a link below. Also, please don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe to my channel. That way you know when new videos are going to be posted on my site. And if you have any questions on any of these problems, please feel free to comment below. And if I get enough comments on one specific issue, I might need to make a video about it. But I won't know that until you comment, so please comment below.